drum has pride of place among most, if not all, instrumental ensembles in traditional folk music and the popular musics of the present and the not too distant past. The drum salutes gods and ancestral spirits. It accompanies dance, it controls possession, it attends celebrations and ceremonials for the dead, provides a rhythmic support, the heartbeat, if you will, for rituals of healing, and is present through the stages of life. From the days of the plantation and slavery, the functional culture sought ways of achieving access to the supreme being and the higher powers, the spirit world of the ancestors, and to reach a transpersonal consciousness or the collective unconscious, whatever one may want to name these powers and altered states of consciousness. Jamaican music has often been described as a melody of Europe playing on the rhythm of Africa. This statement is true astounding, but to my mind it's a little bit of an oversimplification as many European rhythms are alive and well as are many African-derived melodies and scale patterns. The European melodies have taken on the beat of Africa, however, its syncopations and solo chorus alternations, allowing room for improvised variations and extemporaneous expressions in repeated phrases. The European dances took on the rhythm of Africa as well in dance stance, carriage and performance style, Hence, the quadrille, which had started life as folk dances of Europe, becoming stylized and formalized in the courts and ballrooms, and journeyed to the Caribbean, was reinterpreted in the slave quarters by generations of instrumentalists and the hot feet of Africa. I could demonstrate, but not in these high-heeled shoes. <laughs> the Honorable Rex Nettleford often speaks of the fact that creative activity was not removed from the functions of everyday life, but came from a need to create new designs for social living that expressed a collective wisdom. This rich communal experience sought to come to terms with a new physical reality and psychic environment. Out of this state came new dialects and, to quote him, idiolects, in the telling of stories that bridge the gap between the past and the present reality. The singing of songs that release the voice in all its expressive power. The energizing force of dance, the combination of ritual foods and herbs, an existential reality that stretched also into syncretized expressions of religion. A succinct observation of his is, what better ways there of dealing with the oppressor than to use the religion of the oppressor? I would add to that the use of that religion as a vehicle for ensuring the preservation of the cosmology of the homeland. The powerful form of rhythmically controlled sound facilitated communion and communication with the higher powers as mentioned before. That was a revival chorus recorded in Jericho in 1978, and I was fascinated by a man playing a trombone in the middle of the church. We move now to the percussive sound. The range of traditional instruments found in the island is fairly wide, and the percussive sound is a norm. With the exception of commercially acquired and homemade wind instruments, melodic lines and harmonic progressions are not sustained 
or smoothly phrased. The all-important beat also finds its way into vocal production, accents and stress producing syncopated figures in the flow of the tune. A certain tension also develops between the alternation of long and short notes and the juxtaposition of straight and irregular patterns within the same bar or in neighboring bars of music. That's a Dinky Mini song from a village just outside of Highgate, which on the map appears as Harmony Hall, but which is called by everyone in the neighborhood Mini Hall. The percussive quality of the voice is often heard in singing at nine nights and setups, where male voices often sing wordless chants that provide not only deep bass support, but also help to maintain rhythmic integrity. You see, the men sit outside, drink white rum, and play dominoes. So they don't actually participate in the harmonic presentation of the song. They will sing, or, 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 that was a slap of a domino. The percussive quality is also heard in the rhythms of work music, in short answering phrases, guttural grunts, and forcible exhalation of breath in time to the work being done, allowing the work gang to labor together like a well-oiled machine, and providing amusing ditties which make the work seem lighter. Work music was not a creation of chance, but a skillful application of the power of sound and the beat. This sophistication and complexity was evident on the African continent, where songs and rhythms accompanied tasks as varied as the felling of trees, with special creations for each kind of tree, and songs for rowing with the current of the river being quite different to those required for rowing against the current. Much of this is disappearing now, with radios and tape recorders being taken into those fields which still require manual labor. And household helpers, if not tuned in to the talk shows, often singing hymns, choruses, and popular gospel songs, rather than those songs like Mr. Potter, which took on the rhythm of the coconut brush waxing and polishing wooden floors. And I learned this from Dr. Olive Lewin. Good morning, Mr. Pata. Good morning to you, sir. I come to lodge a complaint to you now, sir. I plant a piece of red, piece of red, Sally Land, Mary Jane, and Pigeon come eat it out, sir. Come out of me yard, me never call you, yeah. Come out of me yard, me never call you, yeah. Why, who's rent money, no done pay for? <laughs> 